Exploring Various Themes, July 24. In this life, we can only begin to understand the wonderful theme of redemption. With our finite comprehension, we may consider most earnestly the shame and the glory, even the life and the death, uh, the justice and mercy uh, that was met on the cross. Yet, with the utmost stretch of our mental powers, we will fail to grasp its entire significance. Uh, the Bible tells us in the book of First Peter chapter 1 and verses 10 uh, to 12, it says, of which salvation the prophets have inquired and uh, searched diligently, who prophesies of the grace that should come unto you, a searching what or what manner of time the Spirit of Christ, which in them did signify, when it testified beforehand the sufferings of Christ and the glory that should follow. As we consider the word inquired, that simply means in this context to seek out or to investigate or even to scrutinize. Now you might be wondering if uh, being limited in knowledge will hinder our salvation. Uh, we have all the knowledge we need now for our salvation. What God did not reveal to us now, uh, uh, it means that uh, we don't need it uh, for salvation. Why not let us trust in his word uh, today? Uh, let us ask God for the power to make use of the knowledge that we have been given uh, through his word and now. That is the power of his word. Why not let us pray? Uh, Father, we thank you for your word. And we pray that you would allow us to make use of the knowledge that you would have given us now through your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Remember, my dear friends, the power of the word every day will keep the enemy at bay. Oh, yeah.